Today's video is all about buying a property amongst all this madness that's going on known as COVID-19. Now there's a lot of crazy shit going on out there right now. Every single day when I'm talking to people on the phone, keeping my safe distance, I get asked the same question all the time. Is now a good time to buy or not? And Mark Dial from Colorado Springs, Colorado, even reached out to me through this channel, which I absolutely love. And he wrote to me, Steve, I am planning on relocating to the Long Beach area in six months. I am a first time buyer. I've been following your videos and really appreciate all the information that you provide. I think that you are awesome and probably the best real estate agent ever to, I'm sorry. I made up a whole last part, uh, but he does enjoy all their information that I provide and wants the opinion on should he buy now or should he wait? Well, Mark, first off, thank you for getting in touch with me through this channel. I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel. I've been helping people across the nation and even in Canada now to relocate to Long Beach or one of the surrounding cities. So if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button ring that bell for future notifications because i do put out videos every single week all about long beach and the surrounding cities all the things that you want to know about where to work live eat and play and should i buy a house during the covid 19. well mark this is a great question and a fair question because people are confused right now open houses are getting canceled uh, showings are being canceled, people are getting laid off, so people just don't know about the real estate industry, what's happening, or other industries for that fact too. So what I'm gonna do today is ask you some questions that you may wanna ask yourself before jumping into the real estate market to find out if this is the right time for you or not. And we're gonna get on that right after this. <laughs> First off, if you're looking to get into the market right now, stop listening to all the stupid rumors. Stop listening to your brother's friend's cousin who owns two properties and thinks he's a real estate just king of the crap. Stop listening to all that stuff, okay? There's so much news out there and a lot of hysteria, it's a really frightening time. But you are going to be able to take some perspective here and look at it from your situation. <laughs> I would ask you is to ask yourself is to look at your own situation so when you assess your situation things to look for is what is your longevity in your role are you working in an industry that will be closed down for quite a while for a short while are you an essential part of the economy and could there be any uncertainty about your income in the short-term future now the point of these questions is you need to feel comfortable with your situation if you work for the government, will they keep you on? If you work in the medical industry, I'm pretty confident right now you're saying if you have the time that you would say, yeah, I could buy a house, no problem, because I'm never getting laid off ever. But if you're in the travel industry or rely on face-to-face, hand-to-hand communication, then maybe it's a time of uncertainty for you and you should put off buying a home for a period of time. So number two, step two, is to plan for the worst case scenario, particularly around your finances. Firstly, more importantly than ever is to have emergency funds. Bit of a buffer there. So usually here when you buy a home, we say have at least three to six months at the end of it of savings just in case something were to go wrong. The second measure that you want to take is salary protection. Unemployment if you lose your job and also with any insurances, particularly right now, read the fine print because you want to make sure that there are no exclusions that you are not covered for. Now, there are job losses here in the short term. Companies will start to rehire when things rebound. So it is worth just keeping some perspective on that. But I think certainly that if you are planning for the worst, like say if you were to lose your job or if something else were to happen, that you would have a bit of a buffer there to make sure that you are covered in the worst case possible. Well, the last tip. Remember, buying a home is a long-term game. 
Well, I think if you're buying, if you're looking to buy a property and sell it within the next 12 to 24 months, then no, you should not be getting into the market right now, unless you know exactly what you are doing. There is going to be a bunch of vulnerability. If you look at the stock market and even historically in the stock market, short term, no one really knows what's going to happen. But if you look at properties historically and take that 30 year picture view, this could present some really, really great opportunities right now for you because you definitely have less competition out there. People are gun shy right now because they don't know the future. And obviously, do I have to say anything about these all time low interest rates that are just unbelievable? Free money. Ultimately, the thing to remember here is real estate is a long-term investment and not a short-term play, unless you know exactly what you're doing. It is expensive with all the inspections and brokers, and ultimately, you need a place to live. So if you're one of those people worried about the market going down in the short term, then jumping in the real estate market right now is probably not the right time for you. The sleep test, meaning, if you're not gonna go to sleep tonight because you're so worried about what's going on, you're so worried about the short term, well then maybe it's not the right thing for you to do right now. So step back, give yourself a chance to rebuild your buffer, and take another look at it in six months period to see if that time might be right for you then. So Mark, I hope you and everyone else who watches this video found this helpful. Mark, you and I will talk a little bit more so I can understand your situation a little bit better in detail so we can set up your plan of action to get your home here and home. So everybody, if you or anybody that you may know needs a realtor here in the Long Beach area, please feel free to reach out to me any which way you can. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website and I will call you. All my information is down below. Again, I hope you found this video helpful, and please be safe.